So here's the case where we're using a base map and combining it with vector layers. Now the data is coming from OpenStreetMap here. It's the US OpenStreetMap server and, and serving as vector tiles. Uh, and then the base map is coming from Mapbox and that's just kind of a standard terrain base map uh, with some custom settings. So as we get closer, you'll see that it pages in vector data at the different levels. And in this case, we're just getting roads place names, uh, road names, and we're also getting buildings at the higher levels. So zoom all the way in and we should get the high resolution versions of the buildings. And you see the more streets will pop in with higher resolution as well. So there's uh, quite a few different layers here at different levels and we'll just pull them in as needed. And uh, the, but all the data is kind of coming from the same place because the, the base map uh, it uses, in addition to other things, it uses OpenStreetMap data, and of course those are, that's going to line up well with the, the roads and the other information. So let's go to a slightly denser area and see how that looks. Let's see if I can find Chicago. And you see the place names really start to pop in here at the lower levels of detail, and then we'll start getting roads. And then if we keep going, we'll get buildings and higher resolution on the roads as well. So some things to notice here are that this is paging from the server. So we're, we're getting reasonable responsiveness. It, it could be a bit faster. And a lot of the time is actually spent in parsing the GeoJSON because the server is returning GeoJSON for individual tiles. So that, that's working OK. But there is probably some room for improvement there. Uh, in terms of rendering, we're doing all right. We're getting about 20 to 30 frames a second. But again, there's some room for improvement there. But in general, this is usable. You could make a, a map in your application based on this data. I think you need to make a few cartographic choices, um, particularly with the, the labels and the place names. And you might want to play with how things appear and when they appear, particularly the buildings, some of these lower resolution buildings. I, I don't know how useful that is. Uh, but those are decisions you can make in your own app. And I really think you could do a decent job of actually showing an area in, in an app, particularly if you had a particular area that you needed to show in just uh, an application. So that's basically the example of using a base map with uh, some selected OSM layers coming, again, straight from the OpenStreetMap US server. And I do think that's actually quite usable. Um, and of course, the toolkit is Maply here, and we're using it in 2D map mode.